Good morning, Wildcats. Today is Friday, March 3rd, National Cold Cuts Day. I'm Aiden Dabbs, and welcome to WCTZ News. Today's episode is sponsored by Honor Murphy Physical Therapy Solutions. Get back out there. The middle school play will be having shows today and tomorrow. Both shows will begin at 7 p.m. Tickets are $5 for West Shore students with an ID and $11 for all others. Tickets may be purchased at the website on screen. Applications for the West Shore SGA Whitworth Scholarship will be available to pick up in the front office as well as Lynn Bramlett's room 2205 on Monday. Applications are due to SGA sponsor Lynn Bramlett by April 3rd at 3.30. There will be a college fair at the Melbourne Auditorium on Tuesday from 6 to 8 p.m. Scan the QR code on screen to sign up for StriveScan, which will allow you to connect with colleges easily. For more information, see your English teacher or college specialist Angela Feldbush in the Media Center. Now to Diego with This Week in History. Hello everyone, welcome back to This Week in History. I'm your host Diego Alvarez and we only have 60 seconds, so let's go. February 27th, 2010, a magnitude 8.8 .8 earthquake struck Chile, causing widespread damage and triggering a tsunami that devastated coastal areas. This was the sixth largest instrumental earthquake and caused 521 deaths. February 28th, 1983, the final episode of the immensely popular TV series MASH aired and was watched by an estimated 106 million viewers. March 1st, 1872, Yellowstone is made the nation's first national park by then President Ulysses S. Grant. March 2, 1971, the jones Chevron Act took effect, designating Puerto Rico as a territory of the United States, quote, organized but unincorporated, and conferring U.S. citizenship collectively on Puerto Ricans. And finally, March 3, 1934, American bank robber John Dillinger made a daring escape from prison at Crown Point, Indiana. He did this with the aid of 15 other inmates, as well as a hand-carved wooden weapon. And this has been This Week in history. Thank you, Diego. Today's episode of WCTZ News is also sponsored by Slaughter Insurance. Insurance for the community from a member of the community. The Janus Knowing Humanitarian Scholarship is now available for all seniors. The scholarship application can be picked up from college specialist Angela Feldbush in the library or from the scholarship page of the West Shore Guidance webpage. The completed application can be returned to Laura Richardson in the front office. Are you interested in helping elementary school students explore STEM? The Brevard STEM Outreach Club will be having meetings on Thursday during Power Hour A and sponsor Sally Kemper's room 16106. Volunteer hour opportunities are available. Today's episode of WCTZ News is also sponsored by Twin Rivers Local Vintage, your local source for furniture, decor, and gifts with a vintage flair. Now for the alma mater. Oh, Thank you for tuning in to today's edition of WCTZ News, sponsored by Honor Murphy Physical Therapy Solutions.